Hi, welcome to Tina's Charge That Expression. Thank you for joining me for part two. Today we're going to be working on an anklet that matches the one we made in part one. And I just love the way that this necklace looks on. And I had to make an entire set. Of course, I love jewelry or else I wouldn't be doing tutorials here. I made a matching bracelet earrings and ring to go along with it as well. So there'll be two more parts to the series and I'll be sure to link all those parts. So be sure to check it out. And be sure to go back to part one and check out the end of the video if you didn't see me goofing around trying to film my intros. It's not always easy doing the intros, so I mess up a lot. Ugh. Uh, always screw up. Please join me on the new Facebook group that I have um, by clicking on the link below. I'd love to see your creations that you've made from my tutorials. I'll be posting more videos soon. Okay, so let's get started on that anklet. And as I showed you in part one, this is the shoe that I used that I bought at a thrift store, but it broke, so I had to make it in jewelry because, of course, it is sparkly. And this is the part we're gonna be using to make the anklet. And here are all the pieces of jewelry we'll be making in this series. We already made this necklace in part one. And now we're gonna be making the matching anklet. So here's the tools we're gonna to need. We have some scissors, some pliers, and we also have the findings and uh, measuring tape to measure and toothbrush for cleaning it up. But right now we're just gonna detach the um, sparklies from the side of the shoe by taking the scissors and just cutting that right off. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side and we're just gonna cut that off as well. So now we're just gonna look at the front and then we're just gonna decide what we need to detach. So I'm gonna pick up both pairs of my pliers and then we're gonna detach it right here from the centerpiece. And we're just gonna take the pliers and grip it really tight being sure to hold on to the center and we're just gonna keep loosening that. And if you have a little bit of trouble with the pliers, um, I had to grab a pair of my little mini cutters and just cut that, but just still be careful not to cut the center. And there we go. So that's all detached now. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And again, I'm going to take the cutters and I'm gonna cut that away from the center piece and then I'm just gonna keep wiggling that until it breaks free. Okay, so now it's detached from the shoe, so I'm just gonna set the shoe aside, and now we're gonna turn it around, and then all I need to do now is get the little piece of leather from underneath here. So I'm gonna grab the scissors, and then you just um, loosen the threads up underneath there, get the scissors underneath the threads, cut those. Then I just need to cut this small piece of leather underneath the metal square there. So now I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side by taking the scissors and getting it underneath that metal square and loosen the threads. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna cut that little piece of leather there. There we go, now we have two openings and we're ready to add our findings. And that looks really good from the front, so now we just need to take the tape measure and we're gonna make sure we have a tight measure around our ankle. Mine is measuring at nine and a quarter inches. So now I'm just going to take the tape measure and I'm gonna measure the anklet from one end to the other and see what we have and how much chain we're gonna need to add. This is measuring at about eight and a quarter inches, and my ankle measurement was nine and a quarter, so we'll need at least one inch of the extender chain. To make sure I have enough, I'm gonna measure at one and a half inches, and then we're just gonna take our cutters and we're gonna cut that piece of chain off, and there we go. So now we just need to open up this jump ring and put it on the end of our anklet, then what we need to do is put that piece of chain that we just cut and put it on there. And then we're just gonna close up that jump ring and make sure that it's smooth so it doesn't catch on clothes. So now we're gonna take another jump ring and open that up and put it on the other side of the anklet. And then we're just gonna take the clasp and put that on as well. And once the clasp is all the way on, we're just gonna close that jump ring up and make sure that it's tight and make sure that it's smooth. Now the next step we're gonna move on to is taking the toothbrush and cleaning up this backside of the leather, which is very flaky. So we're just gonna put that down and we're just gonna keep scrubbing it until none of the leather is flaking off anymore. And now we're just gonna take a look at it and see this is all flaking. So now I'm just gonna to try to use my fingernail to scratch off any remaining flaking and then just give it a quick little scrub just to make sure that it's not gonna come off on your skin when you're wearing it. Now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna clean up the edges and all the little stray pieces of uh, fraying we have on the edge here. And I'm gonna give it a quick flip and do the same thing to the other side. 
Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to take a look at it from the front, make sure everything looks good. And now it's done, which means it's time to try it on. So let's see how this looks on. It's on now and it fits great. So now we're going to take a look at it from every angle and I love the way it came out. Don't forget to check out the Match and Choker Necklace we made in part one and I'll link that below. As always, I hope you had fun and please share this video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit like. I love to see comments and don't forget to click on the bell if you'd like notifications when I upload a new video. Thank you. Bye.